Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today guys, we are going to be going over the new pack drop that is dropping tomorrow in NBA 2K25, my team. Now before we do get into that guys, I just want to say we're on the road to 700 subscribers. We're trying to hit it before Halloween, so today is the 25th of October, so we have... Um, just under a week to try and get that goal. We're 19 away, so I'd really consider you hitting that. I really, um, sorry, I really appreciate you um, hitting that subscribe button because, yeah, it would be awesome. But let's get into it without further ado, guys. So, pretty much, guys, it's a Friday or, you know, a Thursday, wherever you are. For me, it's a Friday because I'm in Australia. Um, if you're in America, it's probably, like, Friday, like, 12 p.m. right now. So, yeah, um, pretty much... We have got some uh, exciting content. We have some very exciting content um, that is dropping tomorrow. So we'll go right into it. Um, and as you can see, top of class. Top of the class, sorry. Uh, coming tomorrow in NBA 2K25. My team. Pink Diamond Julius Irving. Pink Diamond Embiid. And Pink Diamond Luka Doncic. Um, and yeah, we'll talk about them in a second. But then we've also got Diamond DeJounte Murray. Diamond Doug West. And uh, Diamond Amari Sotomayor, Diamond Brandon Miller, and Diamond Jared Jackson Jr., who we will definitely be talking about. Uh, but let's start by talking about uh, this set. First of all, I just want to say, Karna, it looks pretty nice. It kind of reminds me of, um, I can't remember what drop it was. It was like, um, I think there was a, it was called like Metamorphic or something. Um, it, I, I think that was like 2K22 or 2K21 with the Zion Williamson. But there was also another one that re it reminds me of, which was in 2K23. I can't remember, but I'm pretty sure I have, like, a Galaxy Opal Chet Holmgren. Um, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it did. Um, but, yeah, I just remember that being a set. But that doesn't really matter. We've got some... We've got three pink diamonds. We've got five diamonds. So, let's start. Uh, pink diamond Julius Irving. I mean, Julius Irving. I haven't actually used one of his cards in 2K yet. I don't even know if he has a good card. Does he even have a card, Julius Irving? I really don't know. Does Julius Irving actually have a card? Okay, yeah. So here's... Okay. I'm just on the 2K menu right now. And there is a Julius Irving pink diamond card. Uh, like a hidden gems pink diamond card with the exact same picture. Uh, 99 offense, 99 defense. 89 three ball, 98 driving dunk. 90 ball handle. Good defense. Hold on a second. Have they just gone and... L okay, so it looks like Julius Irving's already out, but he's just a hidden gem. So if you want to look at the stats for this Julius Irving, just go to hidden gems pink diamond... And uh, you can see that. Now, that makes me wonder, do we have, like, a Joel Embiid or anything as well? Because if we do have a Joel Embiid there, that could be interesting to see. We also have a Joel Embiid. Different card art, though. 87 three ball. Have they just leaked everything? Oh, my God. There's no way. And then what about Luca? If, if there's a Luca man. Like, because I was aware of this last week. And, I'll, and I said... Diamond Paolo Bencaro was completely removed because he definitely had a hidden gems card. He was completely removed. Now, my question is, like, does Luca have a pink diamond hidden gems? Because if Luca's got a pink diamond hidden gems, well, that says a lot, doesn't it? There's a lot of pink diamond hidden gems. I'm just going to, I'm trying to go as quick as possible. But yeah, um, this is very interesting, actually. This is very interesting. Okay, oh, and there is a pink diamond Luca. Oh, my. 96 three ball, 80 driving dunk, 95 ball handle, uh, pretty bad defense, good speed. So, so guys, it looks like uh, the three pink diamonds have already been leaked. Um, that's very interesting to see because I want to see tomorrow if these guys uh, get removed from this because Paolo Bencaro got removed last week. I want to see now if I can back up my evidence and see if this pink diamond Luca gets removed as well. And like, and beat and Julius Irving. That's very interesting to see. But look, they're cool cards. Um, yeah, look, pink diamonds. They're going to be expensive. And Bean might be the best center in the game. I don't know. He put out maybe not. Julius Irving's going to be a maybe top. He might be the best shooting guard in the game. I don't know. He could be up there. And Luca, depending on how his release is, he could be really good. But um, I don't know. He could be all right. But I guess we'll see. And then, guys, let's move on to the diamond cards. So, we got Diamond DeJounte Murray. Um, look, we don't have any stats for these guys yet. But, look, Diamond DeJounte Murray, he's going to be, I would guess, the most common one. We've got a Diamond Doug West. Now, Doug West, he could be good. Maybe he could be, like, a really good card. I don't really know. I could be wrong. But, I'm pretty certain he's really good at dunking. I'm pretty sure that's what he was good at. We've also got a Diamond Amari Stoudemire, who will be cool. 
Uh, a diamond Brandon Miller, who is going to be very good. Like, he's like six foot eight or six foot nine or something. He can play that shooting guard position and has a really good release. And then, guys, the diamond, or maybe what could be the best pack drop in this? Uh, sorry, the best, uh, the best, what's what, the best card drop in this set right here is diamond Jared Jackson Jr. Um, he's going to be a beast. It, we, I think we are all aware of this. And, now, the reason I'm saying that, if you don't know, pretty much he's got a Hidden Gems card and, like, a Diamond Hidden Gems with a different card up, but he has 92 offense and 99 defense. Uh, he has an 88 dribble, an 85 driving dunk and standing dunk, 74 ball handle, a 97 block and a 92 interior, good rebounding and good speed. But that's not the thing. The thing is that he has 12 Hall of Fame badges. 12 Hall of Fame badges. That's not badge now. That is 12... Hall of Fame badges, and also 16 gold badges. This Jared Jackson Jr. is going to be 500k. He is going to be the Paolo Bencaro of the set tomorrow. If you spend money on packs, you are going to be so happy that this card is going to be in packs, because if you can pull this Jared, yeah, he's going to be on your team for a long time. He is going to be amazing. Yeah. Diamond Jared Jackson Jr. Um, I expect him to be... I said Embiid might be the best setter. I do think this Jared might just be better. I do think he might just be better. Like, oh man, that's big. That's really big. That is really big. Um, and that'll be interesting to see if he gets removed from Diamond Hidden Gems as well. So I'll take a few things just to see. Like, I'll take a few screenshots just so I can see if we can back up the evidence here. See if these cards do get removed or if they don't get removed. I think that's something interesting to see. Um, but yeah, guys. I have to say, I, I think, look, this set could be really, really good. I think it has the potential to be good. Um, but from these cards, it looks pretty good. But, I mean, you've also got to consider, there's still going to be Amethyst. There's still going to be, like, a bunch of other cards. Like, there's still going to be the Rubies. There's still going to be the uh, the Sapphires, Emeralds, and Golds. That is where I'm going to be looking. Because if we could get some nice budget cards, that would be great. That would be really, really nice to get some good budget cards. Um, and if we did get some budget cards, I think that'd be great, because we got, I mean, we've had budget cards pretty much every week. Last week, we had a couple. We had Trevor Ariza Amethyst, who was, I think, is like 20k, or something around that. He might have gone up a little bit. He's around 25k. Um, Kevin Martin was decent. Uh, Andrea Bonyard, he's a decent setter with a good three ball. It's only good for pick and pop, really. We got Jarvis Hayes, who I never really tried out, but it's got some really decent stats for an Emerald. Um, we also got you know, some other people as well, like this Marquise Daniels guy, who's like a 6'6 shooting guard, A6 defense, A6 offense, and then we also got Tim Hardaway, who's got Paddy Mills base, and it's like, mate, what, like 40k or something? Yeah, he's something crazy like 40k. Um, so yeah, this tier, I have to see the Tim Hardaway on the auction house going for an 146k bid. Who has bid 146k? Like, he's got a diamond shoe on him, and he's got a takeover boost on him, and someone has bid 146k. No extra badges. Yeah, you got to wonder in this community sometimes. I wonder if they're trying to buy MT, because if that's the case, then that's crazy, but yeah. um, Yeah, look, we've had budget cards in the last couple sets. Like, then if we go back to Season 1, Stealth Mode, we had Elden Kim, we had Willie Edison, we had Otto Porter, we had Channing Fry, Albert King was another one as well, who I never tried out, but I heard was really good. Um, then we go back to Dunktober. I think Dunktober, we didn't really have anyone, I don't think. I think Stromal Swift was okay. Larry Nance Jr. was alright, I guess. Miles Bridges was decent. And then Dukes of the Dunk, we had... Damn, I don't think there were many good ones. Like, John Collins was okay. Barbecue Buckets, we had a few. We had Austin Rivers, Jarrett Jack, Ray Allen. Uh, who else was, like, budget? Like, Zach Randolph, Purvis Ellison, Harrison Barnes. So, we've had a couple drops where we've had a heap of budget cards. We really have. So, I'm really hoping for this top of the class drop, we see some budget cards. I think that's a massive thing to consider when dropping these things. Is that the cheap players, sorry, the people that don't spend money. I'm one of them, by the way. Um, we need players too. We do need players too, because otherwise it's just going to be really hard because the pay to win players are going to be too good. But yeah, guys, um, those are my thoughts on this pack drop. I think it'll be, I think it'll be good. I don't see this being bad. If we can just get some good budget cards, it'd be nice. They usually release the, like, all the cards and all the stats at about 12am, 
uh, Australian time, so that'd be about, like, 2pm, or, like, 3pm, no, it'd be 3pm American time, so, um, yeah, just keep an eye out, because they do end up releasing some of the cards early, if you do go into Season 2 in my collections and just check out if the set's there, like, Poetry in Motion dropped at about midnight last week, I think, so just keep an eye out for that, um, and yeah, we might be able to see some cool budget cards, but that is going to be it for today's video, I hope you guys did enjoy, leave a like and subscribe, because we are on the road to 700 subscribers, um, one more thing I want to mention is, I'm going to be streaming tonight at around 8.30, so we're just going to be streaming some 2k, um, join up, it should be a good stream, and I'll see you guys in the next one, peace.